Salam and Salam and welcome to Quranic Lecture 19. The title of this lecture is Quranic God vs. Charity or Donation. So why I put this Quranic God over here? The reason behind this is that Quranic God does not do any worshipping. Quranic God condemns the worshipping. Whereas the believer God of all the religion, Christian, Jew, Muslim or any religion, they worship God. This is the only God which is mentioned in the Quran which does not want any worshipping. But what he wants to ponder upon his rules, regulation, and make the new new discovery and make this plan more beautiful. So this is the Quranic God. Now it is strange the worldwide charity and donation collecting organization are doing their business in the name of God, Ram, Jesus, Virgin Mary and Muhammad. So th this is all the religion they are minting money from the donation using the God name, Muhammad name, Jesus name, whatever. The Christian church ministry established on the air and especially working through the TV channel give out very potent message to their faithful followers, followers for racking in lots of loot. So they want to make the money. They have a special TV program, all, the, all these religions. The voice, a very exciting line repeatedly, let Jesus come into the, your heart. So Jesus will come in your heart when you will pay something to them. Now the question is how Jesus can come into the heart of the people. How is the pumping machine? That's it. The Quran has used the word color for that, for mind. The question is how Jesus can come into the heart of the people 2,600, sorry, 2,006 hundred years later after his passing away. He has been passed away 2000 years before. When according to the Christian gospel, he could not do anything to save his own skin and accepted crucifixion at the joint hands of the Roman governor and the Jewish priesthood. The people who dish out charity on such a call must be done. Recently, a very disturbing report is circulating in the North American media, which states categorically that 80% of the funds collected by any charitable organization cover the administrative cost, where only 20% go to the elevate the cause of for which the specific charity is working so hard. So 80% they are taking their expenditure, five-star hotel, first class, you know, travel in the airplane and all other luxuries. So donation and charity business is booming in North America and the big business has its involvement in the, in the, in this game. The big way the corporate sector dishes out all kinds of political, religious and social handouts to the needy people for the following reason. So they are giving reason that we are working for needy people, we are working for the poor people. The corporation which stuck the last drop of blood out of their workforce, the backbone of their um, empires, to know it, millions of dollars to the political beggars, a religious parasite and social common instead of doing anything worthwhile 
for their employees. Just for the sake of tax breaks, which sometimes go as high as 35%. Political donation gives the corporation effective influence in the corridors of the power, as they have already set up their lobbies which watch their interest. Some people are of the opinion that politicians are likely put in the hands of the cooperative heads and they do everything in their power to keep them happy. Otherwise, they would not get any funds to run their expensive election campaigns. So they are all related. You know. The corporation dish out funds to the churches, synagogues, now even mosques and temples to show the people the extent of their parliamentary for the good cause of maintaining religious freedom. So they are, they are saying that is the reason the religion is free, because they are making money and they are saving their tax. They must do that to get the tax breaks. If they give that money to their employees, this would get nothing in return from the government. So here is the injustice. The people who are really deserve for that, they are not giving them any money. They give to the church, to the mosque, to the synagogue, because 35 percent they will get the return from that. Look what is happening. They are all together. Religious, capitalism and democracy, they are all together to suck the blood of the poor people. A fine example of religion working for the benefit of its primary institution, the church is vividly represented by the life and time of Mother Teresa. We will discuss that. She was on her missionary mission to Calcutta, India. And in Calcutta, The people born in the gutter, you know, sewer plant, they are big plant, the old, neglected. They brought up in the gutter and they die in the gutter. So in that area she was working. When alive, she was revered as a great Christian missionary who started working in 1952 for the uplift of the poverty stricken in Kolkata, in India. The purpose was to increase the number of demographic minorities of Indian Christian to convert them, Hindus or Muslim or any other religion into the Christian. Because just before her arrival on the scene, that community like Muslim was facing a severe communal discrimination. Discrimination, you know. Every person know. It's a discrimination over there. Here a very pertinent question comes up. If she was a social worker, then why was she working under the protective umbrella of the Christian church? If it's a social, so why she was specifically work for ch a Christian church? Why she was not working for synagogue? Why she was not working for mosque? She could be like Ravinder Nath Tagore, you know, he was a great person, who consistently worked throughout his life for social reform in India through the creation of his ingenious and marvelous literary masterpiece. The worldwide multinational supported Mother Teresa for her work who religiously tried to establish the Christian faith among the poorest of the poor in India. That was the community which needed utmost help in the face of the prosecution at the hands of the upper caste Hindu majority. They were suffering. And do you know that in India, the total wealth of India, 41% is in the hand of 
upper class Hindu Brahman. The rest is go to poor people or other community. Strangely enough, it is always the game of numbers which is of vital importance for the survival of a nation. Mother Teresa used to use the donated capital of capitalism organization to convert lowest caste Hindu to Christianity. She did nothing to improve their life standard, living standard, through improving their skills of earning a decent livelihood, which is the only way to build a community on a sound economical footing. So when they were asked the question, what is the cause of our, what is the reason of our poverty? So she was giving the lesson to them, it's a God will. You just take this charity, it's a God will. When they start thinking, so she was giving them opium. Why you are thinking? I'm over here. Which is the only way to build a community on a sound commercial footing. There was, or rather, still is a dire need to re-educate re those Indians to improve the proficiency of their native profession and learn new trades of improving their lot with, with their own efforts. So this training should be given to them. Education should be given. Why you are poor? Give them skill. Put them in the school. Put them in the you know, technical school, so they can make their own money. The con artists in the grab of Muslim clergy are even worse than their Christian converts. They are just like a, you know, vulture, even worse than vulture. They ask for every bit and scrap of the money for which they find any authenticity in the Quran. There is no authenticity in the Quran. Now they are even begging for sadaqat. How many? Look, they are worse than Christianity. Sadaqat, zakat, pitrana. Muslims know what I am talking which only a legitimate government established upon the charter of the Quran has the authority to collect. They have no right to collect their zakat. Only in emergent situation. So they could be given better equipment for their trade, but nothing for that sort happen keeping people in a chari charity is a criminal offense because it does not give them any sense of achievement to build up personal self-respect. This is the main reason. Quran opposes the charity. Why? It it dislodges the dislodges the self-respect of human being. And moreover, Muslim knows that on their Muslim shops, the butcher shop or the grocery shop, you will find three, four box. So these three, four box in the, they are different mosques. Even they collect loony tuny from them. Moreover, when they start building the mosque, it's a 10-year project or 20-year project. It's a permanent their business, their parasite. And when they reach on the second floor, then they make the auction for, they call it a misala. You, they, they made the auction 2,000, that space which they use for praying, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. They're saying, if the people will pray, your parents will go into the paradise and you will go into the paradise. You will get the 72 virgin dark kind foods. So this is their doing. And Allah will put you in the heaven, heaven, heaven for those. So this is their doing. And if your house is mortgage free, they will ask you to give 10, 20,000 
to the mosque. Why? Because your house is there, there is no mortgage. So they they are very clever. You know. And then they, you know, fundraising. I have recently attended one fund fundraising. It's a horrible situation. They are selling God. They are selling Mama. They are selling Quran. They are selling every damn thing. And they hire the people and give them money, three thousand, four thousand dollar, to arrange to speak over there. He is a con artist also. So this is happening in the mosque over here. Okay, <clears throat> keeping people in a charity is a criminal a criminal offense because it does not give them any sense of achievement to build up their self respect. So they do not become productive and look towards other for their survival. The best way to help people is to re-educate them, equip them properly, provide them opportunity to show their professional powerfulness with the proyo. Then, when they become productive, they return the total original investment with equitable mark if possible. So don't give the fish. Teach them how to fish. If you will teach them how to fish, they will not come back to you. But if you give them fish, they will come again and again. And I was doing in Pakistan. And don't go the people money. They should give you charity and then you should you know but if this is a situation you really want to help people so give the money from your pocket but what these are organization charity organization what they are doing is a people money they are collecting the name of poor and they devil they spend only 20% as they are eating it's a very good business so don't give the fish teach them how to fish put them into the school welding school or plumbing school or electrical school so that they can earn their money you know so the holy mother teresa did not nothing of the sort no these are holy the only poor people are unholy. Holy water, holy book, holy place, holy day. They are what they are doing. Holy personality. And these people, the poor people, they are unholy because they are using them to mint money. The people were having a miserable life before she came on the scene and are still living the same way. No change at all. The only change, they convert some thousands of poor Hindus, low-cost Hindus, into the Christianity. Then Brahmins start protesting against that because their slaves are now shifting from one place to another place. Her mission in India is an utter failure, whereas Indian state of Kerala is booming because no one know in the state is surviving on donation and charity. The best way look, which is a good is a good. The religious leader of every religion are vulture, which live. Yeah, which live in grand soul style without earning a single cent themselves. Even vultures are better than them because they are natural scavenger. I have my experience. They don't touch any animal until it's alive. It's, it's moving. Look the 
laws of nature over there, they don't touch it. The moment it dies, then they touch it. And these are the vulture. After they eat, then they then the insect come. They eat the small pieces of the animal. It's a so nice system God has given us. But these vultures, the religious person and the corporation, how you can save yourself from them? None of them go for the rigorous nine to five job. You are their host. You are giving them money. Look, you go to temple, you go to church, you go to mosque, you go to mandar, you go to Gurdwara, you have to pay them. This is our fault. We made them religious people. We are, you know, not thinking about that. It's your hard earning money in the name of God, in the name of Guru, in the name of Ram, in the name of Jesus. Or does they shift work which the ordinary citizen of the most advanced nation must have to make a decent living? So every person is working except them in all religion. All the religious persons, they are not working. We are their host and they are all parasite. The Quran openly condemns this kind of capitalism oriented religious based charity system. Charity organization of the Western country, wherein existence of haves and have nots. This has created. They want to cover their crime. However, the biggest problem with this system is that people on the receiving and lose their self-respect, dignity, and confidence. You see, all the advertisement for this charity, mostly they are using African children, and then Palestinians they are using now. And if there is any earthquake or any damage, these all organizations become active. They are very happy that these poor nation in the problem, in the crisis, they make money. So that is why they are worse than vulture. Vulture is a respectable thing. It clean your beautiful planet. It's a good natural sequence. They can never be progressive, dynamic or effective in their own way and always look forward to upper hand belonging to the donor. This is an insult of the human personality. In fact, the slogan like for the love of God, all the religion, love of God, Jesus or Muhammad or Ram or just or Guru are just empty words, which mean nothing to the benefactor, nothing for these poor people. They are delivering everything. All they are interested to know is how much money they can save from the Revenue Canada or Internal Revenue Service in the U.S. So this is the, these are the all non profit organizations. Donation is a rebellious practice against the Quranic laws of economy. It dislodges the self-respect of vulnerable segment of the community, which are the poor people in Africa. They are using Asian, Bangladesh, Pakistan. Poverty reduction can be attained by implementing the reforms below. White collar financial crimes such as fraud, embezzlement, tax evasion, bribery, price, price fixing, intellectual property, theft, or inside trading, all different ways to make a lot of money through illegal means. First of all, we should do that. And every way it is. Even democratic, or dictator, or any other form, you will find this thing. So first of all, if we want to bring the 
nice situation or favorable circumstances for these poor people. So first we should do that. Poverty can be reduced, regulating high salaries and other luxurious benefits of government officers as well as the corporation health and to stop accepting the bribe from the corporation or rich people, favoring them in the misusing the government laws. The second step. The third step, all famous billionaires amass the wealth by paying less tax relative to the immense wealth. Let me take from them their tax. Billionaires have an appropriate amount of influence in the public life which undermines political equality. Making propaganda that billionaires are corporations are providing jobs to people and is a symbol of good economy. This is a propaganda and the government officials are with them. Give them just like Ford, receive over here 400 million from the Canadian government 10 years or 20 years before. Bribing political across political parties with the collaboration of the highest government officer. This should be stopped. The masjid money, hungry monster, never give up and constantly beg for money each week in Jummah gathering. You know, Eid, Jummah, Shabrat, Ramadan, they are best men, best month for their minting money, especially in Ramadan. They make the new house because they are getting the cash. Each owner or the group sitting behind the, they are all parasite. So they make, in, I know some people, every month of Ramadan, after Ramadan, they, they buy the new house. It is interesting to know that Allah does not say anywhere in the Quran to collect 2.5 persons account on Muslim saving or to collect fartrana and charity from the people. Quran doesn't mention anything. Quran mentioned that your economy, it should move swiftly. The distribution of the resources so that every person should be in a, in a respectable way, living in a respectable way. Nailed to persons saving and begging from Fatrana is against Allah's economy strategy device for all time themselves. So what they are doing, the most people, they are against the Quran. They are rebellious of the Quran because Quran does not mention 2.5 percent zakat. They made themselves and it has been given by the kings. They are their shareholder. And a very interesting thing I'll let you know. The Shia sect of Pakistan, however, refused to pay zakat on the suggestion that they are the defend descendants of Muhammad and are ex exempted from all such levies. Look, this is who we are Muslim. In India, temples hold about 3,000 to 4,000 tons worth of trillion dollar gold in the form of idle gold and diamond. This supply of gold is coming from the poor and middle class people in the form of denotion in the name of Bhagwan, one God and countless gods and goddesses. If the and this amount of money which India has in their temples, it can give the budget to India 30 years. No need to take the tax from the people. Look this arm, arm person party in Delhi who has the control. They are supplying the people water free, electricity free, medicine free and some transportation also. Before it was not there because he is an honest person. And this trillions of worth of gold, it is all the mandas. And the people poor over there. Let this should come forward to the religious people. They should put the industry, school and put these people on job. 
religious parasitic non profitable organization like ngo and npso or charity group amass wealth and property the latest example of mormon church amassed 100 billion of dollar and it was kept secret in banks why the church is not giving the money to the poor people it is it is from the you know donation they receive it so this i have given you some example indeed the quran blast of the concept of charity ngos and npos as it dislodges the self respect of the weak segment of the society the charity organization want to keep gap between rich and poor to mint money by bring the god between them because god was angry and after receiving the donation he become happy so here is a rich here is a poor and they put the god between them give the money god was angry when you give the money he will be rich he will be happy but god house in makkah very poor it's a square building and the people who are controlling this royal family they have five star hotels they have high rise building so over there in makkah god is very poor and this high royal family they have billion of dollars and moreover god house like can take a chicken it it doesn't like the albaik which is a very good chicken because this can take a chicken a ch- chicken is in front of the babul of the aziz the gate of the aziz the god house in makkah love can take a chicken the quran present the perfect physical solution to the dilemma or rather first of the tax and charity together with maintaining the self esteem of every individual in the form of zakat so i have given around about of 40 50 lecture on the zakat and salat so you can read that and i think you know this youtube they have removed it so now it you will find it all this economic program administrative program on our website all the lecture we are going to put over there so you can have that this system ensure the provision of all amenities life to the people along with the creating a progressive prosperous and secure society wherein it is a member enjoy life without any fear so what quran give the first notion now i am coming to the quran why why quran condemned all these charities and i will give you the three four verses in the support of that ya ayul ladina amanu la taklu amwalakum banakum bil batil illa an takunu tajaratan an tarad minkum wala taklatu anfusakum inna allah kana bikum rahima o you who are working for peace and peace will come when there is a balance distribution of the resource of wealth then peace will come otherwise you are not in a peace now on this beautiful planet 70% area is in the form of chaos and disorder why because the money has been amassed by certain people they are controlling them everywhere you will find the burning sorrowness do not utilize or devour your possession possession among yourself without bringing the fruitful consequences la taklu amwalakum banakum banks are doing this in canada or in america 95% houses they are controlled in the banking whether you buy or sell so this is quran is giving like insurance company like this uh, i'll give one example medical free in canada 
dental service. These people, if you go to them, they divide, they, they put the rates. Root canal, you have to pay $5,000. Recently, my son had the problem and they give him the quotation 5,000 root canal. And there was no problem in the teeth, but they said root canal. I told my son, go and take the gargar of hydrogen peroxide. He did it, he's okay, finish. So this is Quran is saying, La taakilu amwalakum banakum bil batle, without bringing any result. Batal. All this religion, they are doing that. No result. Christianity or present Islam or synagogue or the other religion, they will not give you any economic policy. They will put you on some ritual, time wasting ritual, energy wasting, you know, ritual. They will not give you any law. But you should do the business with mutual benefit among yourself. So you should do the business for the betterment of the community. I had a hotel days in, in Trenton near Belleville. So when the, there was a four or five markets over there, people were selling, someone bring the food from home, coffee, biscuit, all. So they were making their small cottage industry. <clears throat> the moment Walmart came over there, all this business was closed and it looks like there is a curfew over there. And the 80% people went to the, you know, welfare area, to government. So this is the, but you should do the business with the mutual benefit among yourself. And do not insult your business self-respect. So this is the insult of your personality. If you have a franchise corporation, you are controlling the price. Only you make the, you know, insurance company are making money. Banking are making money. What about the other common person? Mosque are making money. Church are making money. What about the common person? Where they should go? This is insult of the human personality. This is this business is a, a not a respectful business. It is insulting business. If the people in the problem, and you are making billions and trillions, so where these people will go? It's our planet. We have to live together. Verily, Allah's laws will provide you favorable circumstances for the growth and the development of the trading. Just like baby in the mother womb, she get all kind of development after pregnancy. So the same thing will happen. We will all flourish. So this is a problem. So that is why one reason Quran reject this, you know, donation system, charity system. Now, in verse 2188, the Quran warned that do not divert the hard earning of the money of each other by false pretense, by controlling prices. And do not devour the possession, possession of each other by false pretense. Do not do that. We are one community. It is our planet. We have to be together. The religion has divided you. The passport has divided you. Look, the sun is same for every person. Water is same. Air is same. Or do not make any false transaction between different departments or groups without bringing any profit for the society. This happening in all the Muslim countries, you know, in Europe and 
American hair. They are bringing that. But in all Islamic countries, in the Ramadan, they are saying Shaitan, the, stand, the devil, they put the, under the, in the chains in the Ramadan, month of Ramadan. Then you go, the, how much the price is going up? So they are making a lot of money in the month of Ramadan. Prices are shooting. Bringing any profit for the society, no problem. They are making this money for themselves. Neither seek access to the authority so that you may swallow up a part of people possession in a criminal way. I'm all in us, and you understand it is unlawful, unlawful for slow down the peace, pace of progress of the society. You are weakening the economy, pace of the economy. Bilasam, it's a mean slow down the economy process. So that is the Quran saying, don't do that. Quran, Quran gives the universal thing. Then you have to decide yourself. The Quran issues strong warning to the parasitic and vulture, but vulture is better than them because it's a natural sequence. They are very good. Type of mosque, NGOs, and peace. They are all worse than vulture and non profitable ch charity organization leader against the donation. So that is the reason Quran says don't put yourself in this business. Yayulazin Amanu inna kasira bin al habar raban la yakaluna mual nas bil batle vishaduna an sabilila. وَالَّذِينَ يَكْنَزُونَ فِي الزَّابَ فِدَّةَ وَلَا يُنْفِقُونَ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ وَبَشَرَهُمْ بِعَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ So the here Quran is saying, يَا أَيُّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Who are working for peace. Peace can come only with the balanced economy. When your economy is good, then there is peace. O group of Mu'mineen, the people struggling for peace. Not believers. But all these Religious people, parasites, they are in peace because they don't have to, to pay the GST, PST, or tax. Even they have relaxation in the property tax. Government of Canada has given. Mark it down what you show. In many, from monks, dervish, peers, mystic, religious exponents, Sheikh al Adid, Sheikh al Quran and religious mosque leader deceive innocent folks. This is the meaning of Abar Rahman. Look, all the temples, all the mosques, all the synagogues, churches, they are not working. The Quran is saying Abar Rahman. They don't work. Monks. Very good, you know, what the Quran is using. It, it's a universal uh, truth he is bringing. He is not putting the name of any nationality. So, what Quran is saying? Divert their property and wealth in the form of donation. They divert the people money, whether mosque, whether church, whether synagogue, whether temple. Look, in Mecca, you have to make your meter zero after spending $20,000, $30,000. Well, in this world, Christians are very good because if you pay $5, Jesus will forgive you. If you go to the Gurdwara, you pay $2, $3, they call it Matha Tekna. So, your sin will be forgiven. But Muslims, they are very costly to bring their meter to zero. Even five times they are praying to clean their you know, sin. After that, they are not satisfied. That is why they, their thinking is sick. Because they are doing the dishonesty everywhere. 
This nation is gone. Without bringing any result, these mosques they are making 10 years. What is the result? And I have seen this over here. Canada, no result. Nothing. They, you cannot speak in the mosque. You cannot ask the question. And in Pakistan, 70,000 madrasas, they are taking this donation. And all illegal sexual gay and lesbian is over there. So what we could do? They are from the poor families, these people who are students over there. And mainly impaired from the implementation. Yes, don't. They, they are the creating the obstruction of Allah's profitable social order. Unsabilillah. Sabil, Allah, the Quranic ways, the profitable ways for the humanity. This is unsabilillah. The Quranic profitable way. Look what Quran has given before two, three verses. Every person respects the religious people, but the Quran condemns them. Quran does not, you know, like worshipping or praying. And there is not a single verse in the Quran where Quran is saying that you believe in God or you worship five times or you go to Hajj or do you go to Umrah. Nothing is over there. This is all fabrication. And then Quran come to another people and the capitalist people and there are others. What they are? Who accumulate piles of gold and silver and amass wealth in the form of property, land franchise, business and stockholding. So this is one Quran gives them. This is one sec, one section or one group. They don't do any job. They are just parasite. They are living upon you. And the other one is a capitalist. At least they are doing something. You know, corporations or groups of business or franchise, they work. At least they give some job to the people. But these religious, they are worse than them. And do not move its most. Because they control the, all the resources. And they don't move the fast the economy. They control it. And after controlling, the poor people suffer. In accordance with Allah's profitable way of economy. They don't do it. The Quran bringing the word fee civil over here and fee civil over here. The same thing. Both groups, religious as well as capitalists, they are stopping, they are making the hurdle in the path of the profitable economy. They don't want to see the common person should have a profit or some benefits. They want to control it. Same word, Quran being. Instill their minds that the sort of mentally and behavior will create physical chaos. Look, we have now everywhere. In India, in Pakistan, in America, in Canada, everywhere. It's a chaos. Because the wealth has been controlled by the religious as well as the business people. Because of which every member of the society should suffer. Physically and emotionally. This is the hell, Quran is saying. Not the hell that we will throw into the, you know, whole hell of the burning. No, no. This and the people, they have the, now in Canada, the, you know, interest rates of the bank it has been increased. So now the people are living in a hell now. They have been suffering physically and emotionally. They have to work two or three jobs. People will feel the adverse effect of the imbalanced system, both the present time as well as the offspring to come. So it affects not only now, it is also suffering for the coming generation. And in Canada, what is my observation, our children, the future generation, I don't think they can buy the house.
the prices are go so high. A bad capitalist social setup, there is a good capitalist social setup, in which the people get the loan on minimum rate. A wide situation between the haves and have not, that keeps on widening. For Bashraham Azab and Aleem, this is Azab and Aleem. If you cannot pay the mortgage, you feel sorry, anxiety. If you don't have the job, it's Azab and Aleem. And you are responsible. Why? Because you brought this, your representative over here. But you elected them. You have some. It's a, it's a sweet pain for you because you agree. You did it. If you ask your elected member why, why the interest rate is going up, why you are not asking asking them. So this is anxiety, poverty, mortgage rate go up, and also the high prices have also created a problem now. So the Quran in verse, Quran makes the difference between the usury and the, and the interest. What is the usury and what is the interest? So Quran give the right definition of usury. So make it clear that interest is not haram. What the Mullah is saying, we are totally wrong. Usury is around. Wahzu Akzuhum Reba Wakad Nahum Anu Wakalamul Amwal and Nasabil Batale Wa Adadana Lil Kafina Minhum Azabun Alim. Those who want to exploit the coin by indulging excess or extreme profit, this is a riba. This is a usury. This interest 2-3% is not a usury, it's a good for the economy. People have maximum house. Now the prices are gone up, the interest has are gone up. This is a usury. And this is the difference between riba. When the prices are gone up, it's a usury. And the Raba mean also suffocation. There is a one disease about the throat. When you feel suffocation, now the prices are gone up and every person is feeling suffocation. We go to, to the market and then we complain. Before six years, $50, we bring everything. And now $300, $400. This is a Raba. And the Quran said, made the action against them who are making, you know, big chunk of profit. And they are saying, our mullah, the religious leaders, this interest is a haram. All their mosque in Canada, they took the mortgage from the bank. Why they should not demolish this mosque? Because it, why they are not declaring the war against this mosque, which have been built on the basis of the mortgage, you know. They have taken the mortgage from the bank. And in their sermon, in their mouth, they are saying, oh, riba is haram. Interest is haram. And devour the money or earnings of the people unlawfully or wrongly. So this is the usage taking profit too much, extreme profit. And those who have oversighted among them, we have prepared from for them painful punishment. Atadna lil kafirina minun azabun alima. Again, alim, sadness, crime, reach. Why the prices are going up? How I can save my, uh, you know, house from the High mortgage, high rate of the mortgage, they were in a problem. So this is it. Doesn't mean the God will throw you in the hell and you will over there. Nothing. 
it is here we 70 percent population on this planet they are suffering now they are mourning grief weeping crying every day so this is the quran has given the difference between the interest and the usury interest not a haram not prohibited if it is reasonable nice but if from 2% to 3% it becomes 6% 12% then it is usury and then Quran advice wala talbasul haqq bil batil wa taktamil fil haqq wa antum ta'lamun libas talbasul libas address and what Quran is saying very important thing and do not confine cover the truth or wisdom haqq with falsify do not say these people that you give the money and God will give you the you know heaven after your death do not say, cover the truth about the economy that Jesus will forgive you. Give the donation for that. Don't say this. Do not suppress or conceal justice or rightness. Justice this that you make the economic policy based on the haq, mean just distribution and balance piece. And don't say that God will save you, God will forgive you, you give the donation. This is not haq. And you understand, you know it. Quran say you understand what you are doing. Ask your mind, all these religious leaders, they should ask them what they are doing. They know what they are doing. If they receive $100, they spend $80 from on their personal expenditure, only 20% go to their to the poor people. They know it. And the Quran advised to do business with reasonable profit margin, not the looting by overpricing in the form of the business. If you do so, it will be considered usury. usury. And it offends against the Quranic Federation merchandising laws. So here the Quran is saying, usury is taking too much profit in any form. Oh, you are working for peace. The peace can come only when your economy is good. Do not operate your possessive among yourself without bringing any fruitful and end result for the community. All our business should be like that big or small, that as a whole, our community should, should go ahead. And this is Quran. Allah Dina Amanu, La Taqlubu Mu'alakum Bainakum. You should not do the business among themselves then when there is no profit or no uh, fruitful result for the uh, community. That is not a business. But do the business for attaining mutual peace and tranquility among yourself. Allah and Tajarata and Tarada Benukum. You should work like a brother and sister. You should take care of each other. And do not adopt the mean tactics of the business to insult your self respect. This is an insult of your personality if you follow the other man, whether he is a Hindu or Sikh or whatever. If there is any problem, it is insult of your personality if you have a money. This is the human personality, noble personality when they take care of others. Verily, Allah's law will provide you favorable circumstances for the growth and development of the trading. If you make the right decision in the trading, merchandising, then everybody will flow. Everybody will grow like the after the pregnancy, the baby get the favorable circumstances in the mother womb and get the growth. So that will happen. So I have taken 
lot of time today. So the thing is now, if you want to help them, because there are a lot of poverty. So my experience I'm giving you, don't give the fish. Teach them how to fish. If you will give them fish, you are also criminal. Why? Because it will become his her habit. Stand up on their feet. This you should do. If you give the donation to any mosque or any religious organization or any non profit you are a crime, committing a crime against the humanity. You are committing the crime on the, against those poor people which name they are using for collecting the money. Thank you very much.